In advance of the premiere of the newest season of Game of Thrones, Amelia Clark, who's one of the biggest stars of the show, was on with James Corden, and they were talking about the disparity in the amount of nudity that there is in Game of Thrones. And here is what Amelia thinks about it. So I feel like there's a little bit of inequality between the amount of nudity that happens with women, yeah. this woman yeah. in particular, yeah. and, and, and it happens with the other guys. You know, I just think that that should be... You're I think saying... it should be even. Yeah. Free the penis. Yeah. <laughs> You want to free the pee? Free the so we pee. start it now. It's a free hashtag. Now, let me be the first to jump in and say that I agree with her 100% for a couple of reasons that I'm going to make clear. First of all, because the disparity is stark. It's Rob Stark. Uh, there, most episodes have, at the very least, a couple of boobs. Generally, two. They usually come in, in pairs. Uh, and there have been a couple of penises as well. Then you throw in, you've got some butts, both male and female. But for the most part, you have a lot of female nudity. Even from the first episode, Amelia Clark has been one of the most commonly uh, um, appearing nude actresses on the show. And she brings up a good point. And I have a few reasons why I think it would be a good thing, not just for the show, not just for women, but for men as well, for there to be more hang and dong in Game of Thrones and other shows. First of all, let's say pragmatically for the men. The men who aren't interested in seeing a penis, but do like seeing some female nudity in their shows. As it stands right now, because there's so little male nudity and so much female nudity, it's totally understandable that female actresses would not want to do it if they feel like it's unequal, if they feel like they're not being fair. And she hasn't said that she's just purely sick of appearing nude. She ties it in with the fact that it's not equally distributed. So pragmatically, if you want to see more women appearing nude on these shows, if more men were to do it, if every show you had 10 penises swinging about, then a lot of actresses would say, well, if I show my boobs, I guess that's not so bad. So that's purely pragmatically. Now that's not the main reason that I am in support of what she said. I'm just trying to reach broad appeal here. Idealistically though, especially for libs, people who are uh, pretty interested in what she has to say about this, think about what we have in this country, and indeed in many countries around the world. We have a system where violence on the screen means nothing, doesn't bother anyone, uh, and then boobs on the screen, let alone anything else, is the worst thing ever. And I think for a lot of reasons we see that and we think, well, what the hell are we thinking? First of all, why is violence so much less objectionable than sex? But especially, why is something as natural and as common as sex and nudity, why does that have to be such a big deal? And we want to fight against that. And apparently, the way to fight against that is not simply to have just women appear nude on the screen. We need to shock people out of their complacency. We need to get them to question, as we do, the normal state of things that we have on TV. And what better way to do that than with some penises? Because if you think about what's the most shocking thing to see on the screen, it's got to be the shaft and some balls. That will shock anyone out of their, their rut that they're in mentally. And so if all of a sudden there were tons of schlongs on the screen, well then, we're not going to care about any of the other stuff. Oh my god, there was a butt on New Girl. Oh, that's the worst thing ever. Nobody's going to say that after they've seen some dicks. They're going to all of a sudden realize, oh, I've seen, I've seen probably a sum total of 60 inches of penis in the past week. And I'm not destroyed as a person. My life is pretty much the same. Whether I like the appearance of it or not, I still carry on. And now, after I've seen all of that, what does it matter if I see some boobs? What if I see some man ass or some, some woman ass? If I see some vulva? Is that really so bad? I don't think people will think it's that bad once they've seen the dick. And that is progress. Whether you like Game of Thrones, don't like Game of Thrones, or a fan of Amelia Clark and her political positions or not, I think that we need to move forward and allow art to be more artistic, to experiment more with nudity as well. And so I hope that you can support me on this. Push these shows, uh, like Game of Thrones, other HBO shows, other shows outside of HBO, to experiment more, to be more willing to show male genitalia, and hopefully that will move us forward. If we see just a couple more schlongs, perhaps that will be one way to sing together, ding-dongs, the old order is dead.